it's me, it's Johnny Boy. Do you know, it stopped raining at last, it stopped raining. Okay, I run a landscape business called Green Top Landscapes and Design. You'll find us on Instagram, Green Top Plant Landscapes, and you'll find us on YouTube, Green Top Landscapes and Design. We've got a fair few blocks there. We've got them get, out, get them out on that project there. Have a quick look at, at it, this job here. This is where we're currently working and everything has to go up there. It's a little bit difficult, but we are getting it done. For some people, they are saying that why start a job during these bad weather, inclement weather conditions? But the fact is, we are making progress. <laughs> it's me. Can I have a look now, quick, what we've done here now? This is the problem that we have. If you come over here and have a look, come, 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 come. Right, if you have a look now, you can see where we've got the blocks from the van up to here. So what we'll do, we'll move the blocks up to this side. Look across the site now, come over here. We've got a geotextile underlay. We've got our slabs in positions. If you come over here, these are, these are quickly, these are 30 millimeter, okay, 30 millimeter. You can have a look at a uh, Brazilian black slate. Absolutely beautiful, but very, very heavy. We'll be able to lay these in a traditional way. Uh, very simple, and we're going to do that. As you can see, we've got the geotextile underlay, and we've got a bed of sub base going on. Yes, it is a little bit wet, wet, but we have compacted it. Come over here now, quick, have a look at it. We've got our sand in position. The sand that we ordered was sharp. The sand that they've delivered is soft. There's a little bit of grit in there, but that's not always good. See you in the next tape. Hey, well, have a look at the bank. This is the bank that we're actually so we got a track up and down here with the machine over there to get the sand but we've got to go and get some stone out because they've brought the wrong sand but hey oh there you go we can we can deal with it you just have to adapt to these situations and uh when problems present themselves you just got to adapt and adjust it what we have to, what we're gonna have to do is make sure that we clean the tracks out before christmas and uh put some uh grease and make sure those tracks don't um sag because otherwise if uh, nothing worse when a track comes off working on a bank like this it'd be a nightmare well we're going to get on with this a bit rapid now because it's starting to rain so what we have here now as you can see along the wall we've started to mark the heights of our step so that will be our first step all right giving us 225 to the threshold here and then so on and so on so 225 out 600 225 down and then 600 again nice wide steps and nice and deep allowing easy transition okay you don't want a short tread sometimes you can go to 450 any less than 450 would be a trip hazard okay in old money it was two courses and then the slab which is eight and a half nine inches more or less so that's what we're going to be working with now got to get on it's raining see you soon well, we haven't got the the mixer with us uh, that's on our current location we finished that down there now we should have brought it up with us uh, we can get concrete into the garden from a mixer, so we've had to carry all the aggregates up with us and as you can see this is the result of that got to mix it up a little bit more but come and have a look this is where we're going to be placing it there we are got the shutter in now that's all we need just hold it in place roughly so we're going to put that concrete in here and this is going to act as a pad stone for our steps coming down that's it and uh, see you in the next tape right so what we've got here we've got our shuttering around this is going to form the size of the steps that we're going to be putting in if you want to come a little bit closer so what we have here there's the shuttering this is the steel we're not doing a wet pour we're not having a concrete too wet simply because we're going to have a little bit of frost tonight and we don't want it to crack we're not worried about the finish of this because all this is going to be underground all going to be under the steps and that's why we've put some steel in so we've put some concrete in to about three to four inches and now I'm going to put three to four inches on top of this steel compact it down level it off make sure it's level and then we'll be good to go to build our steps
what we're doing is I'm worried about the frost tonight. That's why we haven't done a wet bolt. That's why we've got more, more or less a lean mix, okay? But still has the same strength as concrete, probably a little bit more because it's not a wet pour. But we've got to make sure that when it's a lean mix, it's compacted. So we're tapping that down really as much as we can. We're not going to run the whacker over it. We don't need to. We've got steel in there. Should do the job. I'm spoiling my tea now, or my dinner, I should say, rather. I've just poured up now, because I wanted to close with what we've done. In the last few days, I think we've really made really good progress. We've been able to dig up all the garden. We had a bit of a problem going up and down. We lost a bit of stone. But the fact is, we've got some sort of sub-base down now we can work on, OK? Um, the fact is, we've got to do some block work. We've got the concrete base in, we've got some steel in there, we've got the blocks there, we've got the sand there, we've got the cement there. We're good to go. All we need is the mixer and the wheelbarrow. We can get the first step built, then we we can prepare and concrete the next uh, pad stone for the next step. Must remember what we need is some steel. So important with these pad stones for the steps that you put some steel in. Oh, 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 oh,